let us look at uh, this question on trigonometry, uh, which seems to be also a question on algebra, but uh, later on you will find that as we solve, this is a question of solving trig equation. <coughs> okay, so let's read the question. Obtain an expression for cos 3 theta in terms of cos theta. Hence, find all the roots of the cubic equation 8x cubed minus 6x is equal to 1. So the first part is this. This is your first part. Obtain an expression for cos 3 theta in terms of. So we'll look at this later. But here the word hence is very important. Uh, basically you have to use this in this form. That's what the hence means. So there's a relation connection between this and this. So let us separate. First look at this question. So I want to write cos 3 theta in terms of. Uh, cos theta. So, okay, so what can I do? So I can say, well, I can write cos 3 theta as cos 2 theta plus theta. Now, which formula can we use or which formula does pop up in your mind? Okay, you should be good in remembering formulas, but uh, most of you may be having a formula sheet. Okay, the formula that uh, pops out to me is cos a plus b. Okay, also oh, this is called the sum or the compound angle formula. So this is cos a times cos b minus sine a sine b. This is the formula minus sine a sine b. I'll show you the formula. I've got the formula sheet sitting here. So this is the compound angle formula. I'm look, using this formula. Cos A plus B. So is cos A cos B minus. So if any you got a plus, you have to put a minus here. And if it's a minus, you have to put plus. Okay. So using that formula, I can write uh, cos uh, 3 theta again is, I'll rewrite this, cos 2 theta plus theta. So using this formula, I can compare A with 2 theta and B with theta. So this will become cos 2 theta times cos theta minus sine A is 2 theta. So 2 theta times sine theta. Okay. Now I have to use the double angle formula. Okay, so let me write the double angle formula. What's the double angle formula for cos? So cos 2a, the double angle formula for cos 2a is 2 cos squared a minus 1. You can all you can prove all these results, uh, but it's good if you can remember. And in place of uh, sine 2 theta, in place of sine 2 theta, what's the double angle formula for sine 2 theta? Sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a is 2 sine a 2 sine a cos a. So in place, this is the two formulas that I'm going to use in the next step. Okay. So I can now write cos 3 theta. I'm not going to write this. This is in place of cos 2 theta, I can write 2 cos squared theta minus 1 times cos theta minus sine 2 theta can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta times sine theta. I, I hope it's clear. So this you can let me underline. So this is sine two sine two theta. I've written as two sine theta cos theta. And your cos two theta I've written as two cos squared theta minus one. So let us expand. So the next step would be uh, expanding with cos theta. It is two cos cube theta minus cos theta minus 
this is 2 cos theta times sine squared theta. Now sine squared theta, I want to change the whole thing into cos theta. So I can change the sine squared as 1 minus sine squared. That's again a different identity. So this is cos 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta minus 2 cos theta times 1 minus cos squared theta. Okay, expanding this further, you're getting 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta minus 2 cos theta plus 2 cos cube theta. So you can simplify this 2 cos cube plus 2 cos cube gives you 4 cos cube theta and this and this simplifies to minus 3 cos theta. So I change cos theta cos 3 theta as this. So let me box this away. So this is one part. Okay. So cos 3 theta I've written as 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. This is a good result. Now we have to go to the next part. We have to use this result to find all the roots of this. So what I'm going to do is next step uh, let me write the equation uh, 8x cube minus 6x is equal to 1 is what we want to solve. So what if I take, I see a relation between this and this, it's not very obvious at this stage, uh, but uh, what if I take let x, I'm going to let, let x is equal to cos theta because this what they're saying is you have to use this result in this so I'm going to let x as cos theta so what will happen and you can let uh, x as anything okay and uh, based on that we can solve the whole equation if you let x as cos theta I can say this becomes 8 cos cube theta minus 6 cos theta is equal to 1. Okay, so what can you factor out? Okay, you can factor out. Can you see a relation between this and this? If you factor out, if you factor out 2 cos theta, you cannot see the relationship. So I'm going to do a cheeky thing. I'm going to factor out 2. So if you factor out 2, I get 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta is equal to 1. So now what is that you know? 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta is equal to cos 3 theta. So this becomes 2 cos 3 theta is equal to 1 which implies cos 3 theta is half. Okay now when is cos half? Okay when is cos half? cos is half at pi by 3. We will, I'll show how to do this with a, on a calculator, but uh, this is a question of scholarship uh, calculus. So they like you to write the answer in pi in radians, and then I'll show you how to check your answer. So this has become a simple uh, trig equation of cos 3 theta is equal to half. So I know that uh, cos uh, pi by 3 cos 60 is half okay cos pi by 3 you should be knowing is half so let me show you that uh, when you run my calculator is set in radians so i'll say cos bracket pi by pi by 3 is 0.5 okay that's how so in place of in place of half, I can put cos pi by 3. So let me change color. So this implies cos 3 theta is equal to cos pi by 3. Okay, we can do this in a graphical way. 
uh, and we can also do using the general solution. So I want to use the general solution and then I'll show you graphically on the calculator. So this is a formula of general, or this is a general solution. If this is a formula, when you want to find the general solution, this is what I'm going to use. If cos theta is equal to cos alpha, if you can find a relationship like this, then theta is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. So in this case, alpha, alpha is pi by 3. Okay, so let us let me write that here so that it remains here. So let me try to copy and paste. Okay, so let me try. Uh, copy. Can I copy? Yes. And hopefully I can paste. Yes, here we go. Okay. So here, I'm going to write this next step here. So this implies cos pi by 3 is equal to cos uh, cos pi by 3 is no cos okay sorry I wanted to copy not that we have got hmm, I wanted to copy this okay I'll try that yes I can copy that and let us move to this page paste here we go okay so let that sit there doesn't matter Okay, cos, so let me delete this. Okay, so we are we have got till here, so we're going to use this general solution to work out the next part. So can I write next next step as cos 3 theta, and we saw that half is same as cos pi by 3, which is 60, 60 degrees. So comparing this, you can compare your theta with 3 theta, and the alpha with pi by 3. So this implies 3 theta using this formula is 2 n pi 2 n pi 2 n pi plus or minus your alpha which is pi by 3 pi by 3. Okay so now I can rewrite if I divide by 3 both sides I can say theta, the general solution, the general value of theta, general solution of theta is 2 n pi by 3 plus or minus. Okay, I didn't explain what is n. Now n is an integer. n can be any integer. So this is your general solution. Okay, but we want to find all the solution. So now we're going to say in the interval of in the in the interval of 0 to 2 pi so we are finding all the solution between 0 to 2 pi for this trig equation okay so yeah we can start at if n is equal to 0 if n is equal to 0 we get the first value so I hope you know that this is a trig equation this is a trig equation and this has got a cycle a period of uh, 360 divided by 3 which is 120 so within within 360 degree you will get six solutions okay so this has a period of 120 and within 120 you will get two solutions of half and as this has a period of 120 within 360 we will have six solutions so we will have to write all the six solutions so if n is 0 you can understand theta 1 would be pi by 9. So if you put 0 here, this will become pi by 9. Okay. Plus or minus doesn't matter. Okay. So if n is equal to 1, this implies theta 1 would be, if you put 1 here, this is 2 pi by 3. First I'll do, okay, minus first, minus pi by 9, which is if you multiply by 3, so this is 6 pi by 9 minus pi by 9 which is 5 pi by 9 and if you do theta 2 would be this plus this so 2 pi by 3 plus pi by 9 
pi by 9, sorry, pi by 9, so which is same as 6 pi by 9 plus pi by 9, which is 7 pi by 9. Now, and if theta, if n is 2, if you put 2 here, so 2 times 2 is 4, so it is 4 pi by 3, so theta 3 would be 4 pi by 3 minus pi by 9. If you multiply by 3, which is 12 pi by 9 minus pi by 9 is 11 pi by 9. 11 pi by 9 theta 4 is same thing 4 pi by 3 plus plus pi by 9 which is 12 pi by 9 plus pi by 9 which is 13 pi by 9 i hope you can understand my writing it's getting messy now so you got six so if n is three if n is equal to 3, if n is equal to 3, I can say theta phi is, if you put 3 here, what will happen? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 pi by 3 is 2 pi, but I'll write 6 pi by 3, so it'll be easier. So it's 6 pi by 3 plus pi by 9, which is, if you multiply by 3, which is, I'll put take first, minus first, okay. So if you put minus here, so this is 18 pi by 9. If I miss something, oh, this should be pi by 2. Okay, that's why I was, number was not matching. So this is pi by 2. Sorry, so this should be, well, the first one was pi, pi theta 1, so this is theta 2. This is theta 3, this is theta 4, this is theta 5, and this is, should be theta 6. Okay, so this is nothing but 18 pi by 9 minus pi by 9, which is 17 pi by 9. We only want to go up to 2 pi. Okay, so the next, suppose if we take theta 7, theta 7 is right, of course. But we want only up from 0 to 360. So this will be 6 pi by 3. I'll show you this is, we have to, we're going to reject this, which is 18 pi by 9, which is 2 pi, okay? 18 pi by 9 is 2 pi. Plus pi by 9 is more than, you can say this is greater than 2 pi. So we're going to reject this. So these are the six solutions. Okay, now if you want to do this on a calculator, so I'll show you how to do this on a calculator. So you go graph, menu, and type in cos 3x, just like that. I have already said the, uh, sorry, yeah, the trick, I want to go from 0, execute to 2 pi, and then draw it. So you, this is pi by 9, okay, and this is 5 pi by 9 and so on. So you've got 6 values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, this is 1 and this is half. So just to explain, you want to find the x's, the x calculate when y is 0 0.5, which is half. So this is your pi by 9, okay, 0 0.3. You can check that later on on the calculator. This is 3. Uh, which was the next value, pi, uh, so this was theta 2, which was 5 pi by 9, this is 5 pi by 9, this is 7 pi by 9, okay, and so on. Hopefully, uh, this is one of the longest videos that I have made. See you in the next video.